Welcome to IG Carla's Employability Skills Series on Effective CVs. So CVs are to help you to stand out from the crowd and here are the top tips today to help you to do just that. You need to create a professional CV and a cover letter if required. The best groundwork tips are research the company, tailor your CV for each job and understand what they are looking for through the job description. Integrate any keywords from the job description into your CV and make sure that you proofread it a couple of times and keep it up to date. So in terms of the steps to the best format, again, easy to read and white space is important. And obviously you need to have two pages or less in a word format. Your font must be consistent in size and type. Your headings should be in bold and capitals. Avoid underlining, italics, tables, images and pictures. Again, depending on the role. And keep it simple and easy to read. So tell the employers what they want to hear. So your main headings there are, they want your personal details. They want to be able to get in touch with you. A good idea and a good tip is to include a personal profile, about 50 to 80 words, which gives the employer a pen picture of you. They get you if they read this, really important. Include your computer skills or for IT roles, etc. Put in any technical skills that you may have developed in college. Next, your education, starting with the most recent first, i.e. whatever course you're doing at the moment. Put in your work experience next the most recent activity first and work back and also your interest achievements and in volunteering is a great opportunity to highlight any leadership team or volunteering roles you have been involved in in a succinct way. Certainly for referees, referees available on request unless you are going on a placement and it would be important to put in one academic referee and one work referee. Here is what sort of a typical CV might look like. As you can see, it is easy to read, lots of white space and all the headings because they're in capitals and bold pop out. It's important to really look at leaving out the words curriculum vitae of your CV. Do not put in date of birth, any personal information, whether you're married, a photograph, how many children you may have, and certainly never mention money. And finally, spring clean your social footprint for sure before you send off your job application or CV. If you wish to contact the careers office, careers at itcarlo.ie will find me. Mm -hmm.